Oh, <laughs> that was great. Oh, he's living a quiet life in Boston. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Log line I need. What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to do a movie reaction today for The Equalizer. Time to be upfront about a couple of things. Koi, he has never seen The Equalizer 1. I did see this one time when I was a, a lot of that back then in 2014. Needless to say, the only thing I kind of remember, a little bit of action. Other than that, I really don't know the plot anymore. <laughs> something, about, math. something about protecting, I, 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 is it Dakota? I forget who it is. Some a, a Johnson, one of the Johnsons. This will be my first time re-watching this. And I remember walking out going, it's good. <laughs> but I don't remember it. So, and, and part of the thing I want to start by the real rejects is like rewatching to see if this movie's still good. Like I have Armageddon on my list. Like I have a few it's movies on my list. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so that's my, this is for me, my journey on that. And this is Corey's first time watching. And if this goes well, we'll cover Equalizer 2. Both we have not seen. Too long of an intro. Koi, should they leave a like? They should leave a like because this is about a quiet man living in Boston who I assume is a mathematician because he equalizes things. Perhaps he taught Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> should they follow us on our Patreon page? Find us on the Patreon page where you can watch the entire reaction start to finish. You can watch our resting faces sync up with us. And then we can see what they equalize. So I'm excited to see if you like this movie. I'm ready to see what he equalizes. What is your name? It's not Johnson. Oh, wait, no, I know which actress it is. Johnson's man apart. <laughs> I just remember. Just didn't yeah. save it, people. I, I bet there's a little girl, but I just remember who the actress was. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant the name of the model for the club. No, Columbia no, I, I, was, I, no I was like, uh, she has a name. I was, I was like, I thought there was like a Johnson actress in here. And and, and, and I'm realizing I, it's a, it's a the little, other Denzel it's a different little girl. Yeah, there's a different little girl in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This movie's deep. 7.30, the most equal of times. <laughs> <laughs> Everything balanced as they should be. Notice these doors are not evenly shut. <laughs> Equalize them. <laughs> it does. It's an, it's an OCD freak. I remember it now. <laughs> yes. Make your hairline very equal. <laughs> <laughs> Try to cut this out. It's not going to stop. Screw you guys. The rest it's of the gonna, movie. It's going to be that the two serious hours. serious drama. <laughs> I believe that this was a show first, and then they made the movies, and then Queen Latifah's in the show now, and then they have a part three coming up. I, Is lot, it all one universe, like John Wick? I do not believe so. Okay. How's it going, Mr. McCall? All right, Ralphie. What you got there? It's tuna. Right? Whole grain, gluten free. Okay, condiments. There's a bone in the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> what? Potatoes or vegetable? You want to make security guards? You got to lose weight. You got to test in one week. Now you ask me to help you, but if you're not willing to apply yourself. Goddamn. That's like real life Denzel. <laughs> it's just Denzel. That's Denzel. <laughs> yeah. This guy's taking out his bored life on making sure he loses weight. <laughs> I was something once. You better start being <laughs> yeah. something. Could have projected my, my boredom onto you. <laughs> it's nice to see a movie in Boston that's not about the Irish mob. <laughs> Does he fight them? We'll find <laughs> I, out. I don't remember who he fights, actually. <laughs> it's going to be the Irish, Irish mob. mob. I hope it is. <laughs> Just a bunch of Scorsese extras. <laughs> Gotta run the Mark Wahlberg schedule. <laughs> gotta pray, gotta wake up, gotta work out, gotta sleep. <laughs> I don't understand some of these meticulous quirks. I do think it's an OCD thing. Hmm. Chloe Grace Moretz. <laughs> the fifth Johnson sister. <laughs> I was, yeah, I think it Oh, 100%. <laughs> Johnson, <laughs> whatever. You got that fish yet? I bought a little machine for making demos. I bet you're good. It makes you say that. Intuition. Cool. You let me know what happens with that uh, uh -huh. fish. Okay. Do we picked up on her occupation? I think she might uh, be uh, an architect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just saying she's probably got a hyphen in her name, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> little Terry Lynn action. Old man tied the fish to the side of the boat. 
had to row back to shore. The fish bled in the water. Sharks came and ate the whole fish. Well, that's just kind of a waste, isn't it? No, that's clever. <laughs> the old man met his greatest adversary just when he thought that part of his life was over. He saw himself in the fish. I like that a lot. I get what you're telling me, movie. Russians. I don't think I've ever met a prostitute. Really? <laughs> See that? <laughs> I'm from this and I live in Hollywood. What do you think? Like, really? <laughs> this is a pretty common job. <laughs> you gonna leave me to die of smoke inhalation? I'm a buck ninety. How you gonna pull me out of a burning building if you can't pull a tire 20 yards? I'm strong. Hey, don't doubt yourself, son. Doubt kills. Get up. Doubt kills. I like his little morsels of wisdom. Cool. Who's gonna make security guard? Who's gonna make security guard? There you go. It's a smart movie because it really gets you invested into his personality and mindset. Yeah, and you you know how much he cares for everybody. Yeah, it's really. It's, and we've it's met a the good fish, setup. and I love the old man being a, like I'd follow a trilogy. Yeah. This old man hooking fish. Exactly. He's I'm not, not going to change. He's not just like stoic and or charming. He's he's got like a full human personality. Yeah. yeah. I'm Terry. Bob. You look like a Robert. Robert reads books like this. Bob is short for yeah. Okay. Different vibes, though. Yeah, Robbie's, true. Bob's, Roberts. Fair enough. My real name's Alina. Okay, it's not professional. Just tell me what you think, okay? Wow. Alina. Oh. On your wedding finger, there's no ring. And no one misses Robert at home? No. Was there ever? Once. Did you oh. break her heart? She broke mine. I hope you murdered her. <laughs> <laughs> Equalized. <laughs> What's your new one about? Guy who thinks he's a knight in shining armor. The only thing is, is, he lives in a world where knights don't exist anymore. He reads a lot of apt books. <laughs> <laughs> Convenient, this list. <laughs> so called the Equalizers 100. <laughs> Got you around, all right? Good night. What's going on, huh? What's going on with this client? Slavio, me and Dario, all right? Whoa. Call this number. I send you another one. Better. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles so confidently too. <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> it's like, what reaction is he gonna give? Oh uh, man, that was so much more badass than yeah. like <laughs> so in control. <laughs> you could smile like that. Yeah, we're like twenty minutes in, there hasn't been an action scene. It's my favorite I, kind of action movies. I love the tension they're like letting build, and yeah. like the lighting's doing so much heavy lifting. I heard she's at the ICU at Shamit. Someone beat her up real good. Damn, this is a good movie. Yeah. I don't remember any of the. It's too young. <laughs> Ten years ago. That was like yeah. Five years ago. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When she hit me back, a guy called Slavi. So Slavi made an example of her. I burned one girl's face with battery acid. Ah. It's 2014. About the time when Russians were always like bad guys in movies and stuff. You mean since '82? What's himself in him? I'm here about a certain girl. This girl. She had a name. Her name's Alina. I understand it's like you're an investment. She's a flip. I can give you $9,800. Her freedom. These Americans think that you can come into my place of business and just buy whatever you want. Capitals. $9,000 for the travel name. One month. That's it. One month. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, he's got chills. Goosebumps. It's so cool. He's like Sherlock Holmesing it. Mm -hmm. He's like picking his weakness spots. 16 seconds. <laughs> nice. Damn. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 
cool. <laughs> oh. It's been past 16 seconds. To that shark glare of his. Oh. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 19 seconds. Felina, the girl you beat half to death, our life's going to go on. Yours is going to end yeah. right here on this funky floor. Over $9,800. Consequences. I remember their being an action scene, I don't remember it being that violent. That was like at all. So intense. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and gut this guy with a corkscrew <laughs> and cork shove screw it underneath his jaw. the chin. That was gross. Oh, I love the like the focal points of weakness he saw across the room, and then like the timing of him marking it and then like executing it. Yeah. Oh, that was great. This guy's a great multitasker. He run a wonderful YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> really got the timing down. <laughs> Test tomorrow and you're still eating that salty stuff. These are for you. I made the weight. Oh. What happened? Uh, hit it on something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating watching this back as I remember it like fragment images like a trailer in a way oh yeah, yeah like yeah. memories like yeah, that's I was like, familiar i think there's an like there's an action scene here don't remember what it what happens <laughs> you know <laughs> my heart raced it went down take me to the murder scene oh yeah, that guy that guy's <laughs> about to go with this guy <laughs> don't remember his name <laughs> sure is a bad guy a lot we figured two Maybe three guys kill them all that quickly. None of our informants heard about this going down. Security system's hard drive was taken. Hey! hey. hey. This. <laughs> what? You drive me to my residence. Uh, yeah, wait a second, Mr. Sunshine. Um, what do I look like to you? A chauffeur? This is our town. You're a guest. You're in a Boston accent. I think, uh, something like that. <laughs> I'm the one Mr. Bush can cause in when people like you. I'm accountable now. Listen, pal, I don't like your You've tone with me. You've taken Mr. Bushkin's money for years. I'm here to tell you what to do. Nice, he's cool. Good villain. He found his equal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited David Harbour pre-newsroom is in this movie. My mom had a little accident here last night. There was a oh. fire. I see. Mucho gusto, señor Mico. Ah, es bueno que se reúna con usted, señor. This looks like arson. A little bit. John, you know I got respect for your business. Mr. Right. Dooley, you do understand why I'm compelled to make this visit. If I want to take over anything, there be nothing left to you people. <laughs> I hate you Russians. You're all crazy. And you're arrogant. <laughs> More reasonable. <laughs> well, Mr. Dooley, I appreciate your candor. It's refreshing and, and lets me understand that you're not smart enough to have done this. <laughs> <laughs> We pay you 15% to do business here. The additional 10% you steal, we ignore. We anticipate it, as your people are such a cliche. <laughs> you think you are coming down Who here I talking am to me? Or like... what I am. Who I am is complicated. What I am is easier. I'm a threat. I alter outcomes. Roll this mother... Oh, jeez. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. So much more brutal than I recall. That was uh that was a lot. That was a lot, Greg. I uh Whoa. I feel like David Harbour right now. It's, it's so unsettling about oh. just how like violent and about how uh, aggressive he was. What the f was that? It's a message. It says I'm here. Nice. That guy must be so tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was intense. It's a great illustration of a villain because Denzel's so efficient and clean and swift. And this guy's just, just brutal and yeah. messy. This guy's like a brawler. And he's telling us he's giving us a message. <laughs> yeah. Was there anything unusually strange about Slavi before he was murdered? Did he mention a name, perhaps? Agitated about something. Who's this actress? She's very cool looking. Terry. Where we mm. might find her. Sorry. 
All of our associates, Irish, Italians, Armenians, are all denying any knowledge or involvement. There's Armenians in Boston? Some. They're all in the mob. <laughs> According <laughs> to movies? <laughs> Whoever did this specialized in killing. I don't think it's someone we've encountered before. Just find him, Teddy. I'm talking over a million barrels this delivery. It's an interesting structure. We've barely spent any time with Denzel in a while. Uh, yeah. We don't really need to because yeah. they've established them so well. And then it's yeah. like charming and then leave again. And now they're really building up the threat. It's pretty clever. It's different. It's more like a different. miniseries. It's more like a show. Where you yeah. can like live in an episode an episode. Let's watch the Queen Latifah one now. I think it's going to be very similar. I'm sure she does such brutality. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing this role. <laughs> I like this red dragon shot. Good call. Oh, puts the lotion on the skin. But they're making them like so animalistic and like... An alien threat with these wonky angles. This is crazy. Well, there's like a hellish vibe to it. Yeah. Especially with the satanic symbolism on his body. It's very subtle. <laughs> well, I'm gonna also close. Get out. Let's go. Nice to see you. I'm me. Van Gaki. What the shit? Oh. Uh... See? You pay on time, no more problems. Come on, let's go to the banana. Get a. Hey, officer. Whoa. <laughs> I'd like to report a crime. Really? Call 911. Why waste city services when I got two corrupt cops right in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get that fucking number? It wasn't hard. Yeah? Neither yeah, is this. Ask the lady down the street. When they had the fire, same thing could happen to you. You pay like everybody else. <laughs> How did he get that? Those people you took the money from, maybe you should give it back. It'd be the best interest of everyone involved. Maybe our best interest is to tie a cinder block around your waist and throw you in the it's a good idea. That's a terrible idea. Oh, <laughs> Protect and serve. Hold the law. Justice. Remember. I'm the equalizer. Cleaning up the streets of Boston. Yeah. Hurt more than the beaten. <laughs> Sincerely, zero bullshit. No recollection of him cleaning up anything <laughs> else. No, I was like, I, I thought it was just like bad guys. That he, no, like, he's cleaned up the streets. I, was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Southie cops like, better watch I out for Denzel. I didn't know this was a part of the movie. <laughs> now the lights come back to the movie. The sun's shining like in the first 10 minutes. When did you last talk to her? I went to the hospital. Did anyone else visit her? Yes. Ah. Nice man. A black man. She wanted to know what happened to her. No one saw her. Shit, I believe it. After what they did to her. Damn, this guy is scary. Terrifying. So deceitless. Oh, oh it's so, so off, buddy. What was the point in killing her? Just because she lied? I think she lied, and because, I mean, leave a message to other people that were friends with her that, mm. you know. They're going to find that body. They're going to find well, out. Well, they're going to run out of people to send messages That's to with true. the amount of people they're killing. At the end of the day. <laughs> man, uh, all the angles yeah. is so intense. Like, they really. Whew. It's interesting how they maintain a level of gore or, like, violence with both our characters, so the protagonist and antagonist. But one feels like a positive one, one feels like a cool action movie. The other feels like super grim. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a really good point. <laughs> and all of his angles are so uncomfortable, like, whereas all of Denzel's are cool. Yeah. There's a lot of lurking in the shadows kind of And the elements. frames are really... Oh, yeah! He got the security job! Now gain that weight back. It's time. I mean, the restaurant's probably making way more money now. I mean, they're so getting their whole cut, Should have so worked there. Frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I discovered a curious thing. that This person walks in the front door several minutes after Slavia arrived, but never comes out. Oh, still shadowed and obscured. It's how the movie's lit. It's actually accurate. <laughs> 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 Another movie, maybe not. Gentlemen's in a hurry. Open that. And register what I just said. Oh, move. Perfect. <laughs> that ring, too. It was my mother's. Your mother, give me that ring. Oh. Boston's full of the worst people, Corey. <laughs> it's okay, Jenny. Whoa, crazy lighting. <laughs> Damn. Out 
There's some great visual language in a lot of those. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a perfect store to work at for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so excited to hear Denzel say Somerville. It's a Boston kid. <laughs> it's like I'm saying Eagle Rock out here. It's just a little town is exciting. <laughs> Got, Got a, a ring, ring back. back. Hey, we saw the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> He puts it back after he cleans it off. Inventory. I love that we don't even need to see it. That's great. I wonder if it was deleted. Like, but it I works feel like it's way more intense It works it. without seeing it, yeah, because we're like, was it probably more violent? And we did not like, score well with test audiences. <laughs> <laughs> but our imagination is way more terrifying than whatever. Actually, not this movie. I take it back. This movie's gr very graphic. We're looking into a homicide that occurred two weeks ago. Russian restaurant. Oh, yeah, I heard about it on TV. I happened to be there that night. Are you were? Uh, yeah. You wouldn't be here if I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was meeting a friend. It was her idea. Then I guess I Sheila. should talk. Sheila Saunders. But she won't be any help. She wasn't there. Daughter had a fever. <laughs> Don't you want to leave me your card, officer? Must have given them all out. How'd you find me? I paid cash. We didn't have a reservation. How'd you find me? <laughs> oh, damn. This is crazy. Find people we need to find. We who? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. What a great scene. There's such like a buildup. The duel to of fates. Yeah, and it's not like just a finale. There's just a dialogue confrontation. That was beautiful. So that's why I killed her, to have a threat. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Get under his skin. That's how disposable everybody is. Man, that was intense. More movies need that scene where, like, the bad guy and the good guy meet, and it's Heat. intense. <laughs> yes, and they go to dinner, and it's uh -huh. awesome. I want to know who he really is. I want to know who he's working for. Still sits confidently by the window. Same diner they know he's going to be at. A roll. No cheese, please. You got it. Is it just you, or are we waiting for someone else? <laughs> Your hands. If you really worked the power lines down there, your hands wouldn't look like that. I know we gotta be waiting for somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Respect. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hands where I could see him. We take a little walk across the street, me and you. Black Denali. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. No witnesses. What's going on out there? Hey, he knows no Walks witnesses. The yeah. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now he's Dead. got. Oh man, that's good. I fucking love this movie. Just goes out and takes a photo with him. If he bleeds, man, that book kill was gnarly. Brutal. They've done like book stuff, like the Bourne movies and everything, but I don't think I've ever seen like a neck snap with a book. Like into the table with that crunch. Oof. Yeah. God damn it. Great Batman scene. You know what this movie manages to do really well where I feel like a lot of action movies fail? They mm. manage to have a main character who's so in control and and you trust will handle shit all the time, yet there still manages to be tension. Throughout. Yeah. At no point <laughs> no. am I not worried, but I know he's got this. <laughs> Normally, there's no tension because of that. But also, there's still Equalizer tension. 3 comes out this year, <laughs> yeah. and I know I'm still invested. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy. And you're right, the juxtaposition of like control versus brutality, yeah. even though he's brutal, it's so interesting. Woo! <sighs> when did he get cut? Who cut him? First he scrape guy? himself by accident. <laughs> All that moving. <laughs> yeah, 
He wouldn't go to his own house. Where did he go? <laughs> no, nah, they're following the trail. Yes. Oh, I love this. Ticket to Mexico two days ago. He's not going anywhere. He's watching us. Find him, or I will bring people who can. Does he have two apartments? That's the dream. One to watch the other one. <laughs> Checking in. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> Somebody at my house. I'm gonna go check in the other one. <laughs> Bill hey! Pullman. Hey! This cast is great. What's her name? Ah, oh, shit. It's really bothering me. No comes to me. This one's like when I'm her. reading the credits. <laughs> Melissa Leo? Yes. Yeah. I can consult on a few things. That's it. Susan, I just need to know who this man is. Tell me what's going on, please. I'm equalizing the streets. <laughs> <laughs> I like that every time it cuts, he says something like that. They, just, they <laughs> cut out all the zingers, and they're like, let's keep them cool. You know, when they told Susan you were dead, she couldn't comprehend it. She said, oh, no, not Robert. Oh, no. And not from something as trivial as a car bomb. Oh, his name is actually Robert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's similar to the other oligarchs who jumped in bed with the Russian mafia, only he funds everything. Gasoline, weapons, girls, you name it. He's built an intricate network on both U.S. coasts. A one-stop shop. Your friend here is who Pushkin sends when he's got a problem. Real name, Nikolai Kajinkin. <laughs> oh, but that's where the photo's taken. <laughs> Explosion and a gun and everything. <laughs> <laughs> who took that photo? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look cool, man. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, basically, he's a sociopath with a business card. Mm. We kept this one. <laughs> She's like super clean. <laughs> that was the actor's headshot when he fucking submitted yeah. the role. We found them yesterday. Suffocated. Testicles blown off and shoved down their throats. <gasps> Third one, Detective Masters hasn't shown up for work in several days. Oh, he's a cop? I didn't realize yeah, he was a cop. Yeah, he's a cop. You were shooting <laughs> those guys? Yeah, he's... I didn't realize that. <laughs> one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else to man you. Do something about it, because you can. Because mm. it's who you are. Mm. Mm. Wait, let me see. That's the theme. I know a part of you died when Vivian did it. She did die, okay. Oh, I don't know how much of a cover that was. <laughs> it's gonna be him. <laughs> when, Rocky? Were you able to help him? No. Trust you, Bill Pullman. Came for permission. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. What let a good line. Let me read the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> wind talking. <laughs> How can I use the clouds at my disposal to win this? Fight? Rain on the Russians now. <laughs> Hope they all take place in Boston. That's a good question. Now equalizing all the streets. I haven't even seen the trailer for the third one, so I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, he's going to make it look like he killed himself and he plants it at all. That's genius. <laughs> there it is. I have the carbon monoxide. <laughs> Love it. Yes. That's awesome. You're about to get equalized. What does it even mean to equalize? <laughs> hey, balance the scales. They were doing bad stuff. Now they're it. dead. He's no kidding. world's balanced. Yeah. Equalize. <laughs> Oof. Horrible way to go. I am a cop, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. No. Why? Why? Oh God! This is making me question how many movies I've seen David Harbour in, but I didn't know it was David Harbour. 
<laughs> I think he's one of those like career actors. You're yeah. like, oh right. Yeah, who's who's in this movie? <laughs> Have you seen the newsroom? No. Okay, that's excusable. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. How cool. I'm they got money be, in I their beef. be a criminal. It's profitable. Who's this fucking piece of shit? New guy. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Shit. Oh, damn, they did one shot. That was awesome. That was so good. Cool. Uh, that was so good. Guns down, lay down on the floor with their hands behind their back. They'll do that, won't they? <laughs> Indulge me, Andre. <laughs> It's not easy to do that. That was, was awesome. Like, that was really impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's really believable too. That's a wonder. Uh, yeah. I was a good cop. I understand. Do the right thing. There are good cops. <laughs> Fiction. <laughs> Harper's great in this too. I mean, I imagine he's always been a great actor. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, he gets more to do than I expected. He gets more than Suicide yeah, I Squad. I thought it'd be like the opening scene. <laughs> and like, yeah. So did I. <laughs> or or, oh, or what was that giant app? He was, bla- he was Boston in that too, right? Black Mass? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gotten progressively better at the accent. It was that one scene through me, but I'm very impressed. Check this out. <laughs> How did he get them all to get tied up? Had them lay on the floor just one at a time. Uh-huh. You made things worse by looking for him. It's on you. It's cool. It's not just burning it like most action movies. I mean, most that's action for the movies just burn it. <laughs> My men will find him. I got the piece. Bono? <laughs> <laughs> In a fake beer. <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> that was amazing. You can call your boss and tell him to shut down this operation. And that's not much of an offer. That's the only one you're going to get. When you pray for rain, you got to deal with the mud, too. <laughs> cool. I like that. Famous scholar lived in Moscow. He was a humanitarian. And even though he had five beautiful children, he opened his home to a sixth. Okay. Kid had been pounded by the system from an early age, prone to violence. A lost cause. Stop me if you know this one. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Until the boy who had never felt anything like being wanted or loved, he finally did. One week later, intruders broke into the man's house, killed the man. They said some small things were stolen, things a child might steal. Okay. I think the boy did it. He couldn't bear the thought that this man, this good man, would do that to him, would throw him away. Like a piece of lint or <laughs> the men I killed, your men. They made their decision. I'm giving you the opportunity to make yours. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I promised someone that I love very much that I would never go back to being that person. But for you, I'm going to make an exception. <laughs> what do you see when you look at me? <laughs> I will never be this cool. That was so awesome. <laughs> he made him emotional. The heat scene, they got a lot. So much money. Senator. Gotta get into politics. I mean... Agent Mosley, please. Heard you found some money today. Check your personal email. Make sure you're sitting down when you do. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Half a billion dollars. We're in the wrong business. You know, YouTube's just not cutting it for the half (laughs) fees. Nice. Yeah, Walker Rhythm Explosion shot. Movies earned it. They oh, earned it. It's earned. It's definitely a look away. Don't watch it. It's the poster for a man apart. <laughs> the one with the Johnson girl. Yeah. No, man on fire is the man apart of Vin Diesel. <laughs> what? Damn it. The other bald guy. <laughs> Get it all wrong. <laughs> 
dude, he's just walking out of the explosion. Wow, they really threw down for this. Well, there's that setting on fire thing I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> brick by brick. For your life for that. Who's? Mr. McCall? Oh. My men that will catch him in 30 minutes. Unless you're here in 29. Oh. Denzel just got equalized. All things balanced. Glenn it out. When you see him, shoot him. <laughs> Which way? What? Swoop. Are we getting a Home Depot fight? Sorry to spoil it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but pretty Jackie obvious. Chan's dream location. I don't remember any details about the fight. <laughs> I've always wanted a Home Depot fight. Oh, <laughs> what the hell is Boogie Man Denzel <laughs> moved out of the way. <laughs> Step to the side. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he just lures him into that room one at a time. <laughs> oh, what did he hit him? With? That was risky. Oh. Listen, get everybody out of here. Don't leave anybody behind. Get into the service doors in the back, okay? Go. Only two people with the hostages? I guess they assumed they were just, you know, Home Depot yeah. employees. Very clever, Mr. McCall. I decided to come and see you. I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Find the hostages. Was this pre-John Wick? I think it is. Some of the same stunt people, too. Oh, is that barbed? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, what a way to go. Yo, he likes to kill. Yeah, he likes to watch. Oh. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. Turning into freaking Jason Voorhees. This is so <laughs> intense. Oh no, he's human. He brought a gun to a knife fight. What's you doing, Denzel? The little pipe bomb? What's he, what's he go? Oh, is he cauterizing the wound, maybe? Nope. Oh, making, making a little doorknob bob. Oh, he is caught right okay. a little doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> I'm oh, Batman. He pushed him right into the. Oh, God. I would love it if he actually hit the water. <laughs> After all that. <laughs> The big guys are always harder to take down. Especially with mustaches. <laughs> Can't even see what he's doing. <laughs> he's like taking blades and just chop suing them. Paper cutting them. Uh. No. all that weight can you make it to the breaker box 40 seconds exactly 
This is such a dark warehouse. I wonder if in the edit they planned this to be 40 seconds, too. It's exactly 40 seconds. I think earlier was, actually. The, the 28 seconds felt like about accurate. I wonder if... Yes. Oh, damn. Oh. Did he know that guy was going to be in that room? Oh, yeah. shit. Was that a nail gun? The nail got him in the rain. <laughs> Is this the poster? Because it looks familiar. Yeah, I think it's the poster. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cock action nail gun. <laughs> Damn, he's really making him suffer. He could easily shoot him in the head. Limb by Stop. limb, yeah. just taking him down. Great looking shots, damn. Oh. Sexy. When it rains, you gotta be prepared for the mud. Blood, mud. <laughs> blood, mud. <laughs> mud, blood. That Harry was Potter. hardcore, dude. That was crazy. Now that guy knows his friends is a mercenary. <laughs> You should be working security, not me. His training makes much more sense and is much scarier now. <laughs> In hindsight, he remember? said so many threatening things. <laughs> this man can murder me. <laughs> it recontextualizes every conversation we've ever had. I'm terrified of this man. <laughs> he goes to Russia to take out the boss. Yes. Oh, no way. <laughs> I was thinking like, like forty minutes and like, well, what does it matter if he takes them out of here? Won't they still just keep? Is that, I was going in my head like, is that what the sequel is? They just keep coming back from every bigger boss. Yeah, that's like the end of Blade. He's going to Moscow to take out the lead vampire. I'd stay in there if I were you. <laughs> so it's you, and now you come to kill me. Yes. What's he doing with the light? Disorienting. What do you gain from my death? Peace. Agana! Agana! Yo! <laughs> Part of the second movie is a lot of fun too. I hope so, because this was great. Yeah. I want more equalizing. So much more. Hey, so I've been swinging by the last few days hoping I run into you. Yeah? I'm reading now. Oh, no. <laughs> when they gave me my stuff back at the hospital, there was this envelope with my name on it. Almost $10,000 inside. 9,800. Roughly. And someone else told me I could be whoever I wanted to be. Body, mind. Spirit. Nice. I'm going to miss your stories, Robert. You got your own. Mm. Thank you. I catch you around, alright? Okay. Oh my god. They should do a spin-off with just her focus on her music career. Whole series. But call it Hit Girl. <laughs> <laughs> About making hits. <laughs> Next, I'll battle the sea. Oh, the sea man. Those sea, sea stories, there's uh, themes. They're all <laughs> nautical. <laughs> oh, my God. Is he writing a book now? The Invisible Man. This list is very topical to his goals, and I respect it. <laughs> yeah. Aww. 
Damn, he's just a full-blown vigilante now. Badass for hire. Denzel. The Craigslist vigilante. <laughs> that title's not as good as Equalizer. I see why they went with the one they did. <laughs> wonder what the original show's like. It's coming to... What am I gonna, gonna do? do? It's too late to start. Over! Over. Is a song made for this? I'm wondering. <laughs> yeah. It's on Fuqua and him are friends because he did Southpaw, yeah. which is based on M's life, but as a as a boxer. Jason Blumenthal? Is that Jason Blum? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, Pre-Blumhouse action horror would make sense because that was brutal. Well, if there's no credits, I mean, if there, if Amazon is recommending this, watch them, it means there's no post-credit No post-credit. Scene. Well, um... I mean, we said a lot during the reaction, but Corey, take it away. If for your first time watching, what did you think? Uh, that was whichever came first inspired the hell out of the other with John Wick. <laughs> yeah, you're uh, right about I that. I don't know which one came first, I'll, but man, I'll look it up right now. That was a hell of a chicken. Haley, Haley Bennett, Bennett, that's who it was. Dude, she couldn't, was so good in this. That accent pull was the like, name. Couldn't uh, pull it. man, she was rad. Um, I loved that it was. Um, it trusted the audience to be ponderous and also to be brutal and then go back and forth. I love the lighting. I love the pacing. I loved it was like almost um, over the top with the lighting at first, but then like it set the tone of the movie really well. I really love the framing. There's a lot of shots of the bad guy that are disorienting on purpose that make you just uncomfortable and you don't realize why you're so uncomfortable. You just have this like, uh, and uh, I think that really is beautifully juxtaposed with all the moving shots and the emotionality of Denzel's character, because they cut to his eyes a lot, and that gives you the like ability to like lean into the character. And I was saying at the very beginning, the you have to cast really well to do the extreme close-ups they do. I didn't realize the theme of the movie was gonna be like looking into the soul of Denzel. And he's got these great like shark eyes where he does look lost, not yeah. sad, but lost. And they kept making that a a way to make you endeared to him as opposed to the villains. So the brutality. He was just brutal as a bad guy, but like it was the fire with fire thing that made you love him. I really, this was a sensational action thriller. Check this out. What do we got? None of the movies influence each other. How? They. This one only came out a few months before. Is that crazy? This is Armageddon Deep Impact. <laughs> yeah, is that crazy? How like there's somebody. There are similar lines to draw. Wow. Like they're so different enough in, in execution and style, but there's a lot of similarities. That's oh what, yeah. Uh, between like Russian bad guys, dead wife, past coming back, Some and of the getting locations. back into the fields. Yeah, there's. there's I'm it's, thinking I'm back, but with the equalizer. It is funny how, but he's like from government, and he, and John Wick's from like fantasy hitman world. Yeah. Like that's a little bit more they of like a rules. fantasy world. Uh, but this is this is uh, I mean they're very different. It would be cool to see them pair up. At some point. Oh, Angela Perry, she used to cast me in stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is this is crazy. Yeah, Dude. you would you would think that there might be, but it, they actually came out the same year. That's incredible. That was so good. I can't believe those come out the same year. And now three is coming out. The year four came out for John Wick. They've kept going. Like they're uh, yeah, both that's so true. good. That's true. Except John Wick's at four. This is but like, I mean, Denzel's been busy being awesome. Well, so is Keanu. But la- that was. That was so good. What'd you think for an accidental uh, not remembering? I much mean, of it? I really didn't remember. I, I, I would, the only time I remembered a couple of things were was like, oh yeah, Chloe Grace Moretz. So I kept thinking is not Johnson, fuck Fanny. I can't get her name. <laughs> you were talking about Dakota Fanny. Yeah, yeah. I, I, keep I never this, placed the name. This, this is Johnson. This has been such a journey. Well, oh, that's so I mean, like funny. Dakota Johnson. I'm like no. Ashley Johnson from uh, voiceovers uh, that, and The Last of Us. Oh no, yeah, no, no, uh, she kind of looks like a Fanning. What is her name? Dakota Fanning. Dakota yeah. Fanning. Yeah, Fanning's in a man apart. Amazing. Man, a, a man of fire. My God. A man apart, Vin There Diesel. was like an era of those kind of movies. And I love all right. them all. So, um, a man on fire, which... Um, That's a refer such a banger. Good choice. That's another movie. About, isn't Denzel like trying to like... He, I, I, kind I of think rem- he's got revenge on something. I think... No, I think she's kidnapped and he's trying to save her. Oh, okay. But it's another one with him and a little white girl. Hey, let's watch all the Denzel saves <laughs> white girl movies. Denzel, Denzel little white girl. Let's, it. let's make if that. It's a very specific genre for if Denzel. If this second one does well, if this one does well, and the second one does well, let's move over to the saves white girl movement. Is in that train movie they did with Chris Pine. Is Chris Pine the little white He's girl? He's the little white girl in that scenario. I have not seen that little white girl movie. He made. Have you seen? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I've seen pieces, but not the movie. I've, I've I missed a lot of Denzel action. I haven't seen like. Safe. I was moved. I haven't I, seen Safe House. Uh, Save House, I've seen half of and loved it. I was working in a movie theater then, so I like saw it uh, in pieces where I'd like walk in and be like, Ryan Reynolds, and leave. There's another one called Out of Time. 
I've not seen that one. The remake of Taking of Pelham 1, 2, 3. Haven't seen that. Um, Equalizer 2. Obviously. Equalizer 2. Denzel but, has like there's a, a run. There's a lot of like Denzel action movies that and he's done. And then Liam took I, his jobs. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like Denzel really kept bringing Because like this is... My memory told me it was just a straightforward action movie, this which is brutal. Which dude. it is, it's a straightforward action movie by plot, but the execution around it had a little more soul than I was expect than I recall at all. Like I just, I thought it was just a typical like, yeah, he's. I don't remember anything about him like helping out the neighborhood, which feels a tad, a tad like it didn't need to be in this no, movie. No, that's how you like him. Otherwise, no. he's just killing people for that girl. It, you got to save the neighborhood. It seemed like if it was, it, it was, it didn't really serve the plot overall. It you got to be from Boston, it's I, all from the neighborhood. I like it. I like that it's here. It didn't seem like it really f- it was fully fleshed out. It was, or the, fulfilled it was much. the bigger part of like him saving, him helping the guy as a security guard. The next step is to help. He his helps mom. out people and for like fifteen minutes in this. Movie. I'd watch that whole movie. <laughs> was, I want an entire. I maybe that's the show, Queen Latifah. What, well, I feel like the fir- the original show that this is based on. If I were to take a guess, oh. that would be what what is happening. And it accelerates it got- into boss fights. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> like- they needed a main plot to focus on, which was you know the whole thing with Chloe Grace Moretz. So the then Russian the nod to the show is like helping the town out. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, I still like it in here. It just it, it kind of seemed like oh, it was setting up to become more, and then it it doesn't become. We got busy because we got to go kill that big bad. Yeah. Oh, like- what was the bad guy's name? Did we check? Was it Kieran Han- Hines? It is not. Okay. It was not uh, his name didn't pop up, uh, so I I don't know who it was. But okay, he, but he was great. He was great, really great, formidable villain. I did feel like he lost some of his menace and threat towards the finale. The finale did feel the only time I didn't love the pacing. The third act had a little bit of me being like, okay, I've I've really enjoyed the intensity to this point, and now there's a couple times where I was like, this feels like they're drawing out the suspense for the sake of it, as opposed to like with uh, the drive the rest had. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, that's true. I would agree with that because I, I did I do wish that they kept the villain truly menacing by the end to the point where he did feel like a formidable match. Yeah, because that heat scene, both of them. The yeah, one in, the one in the stairway is like one of the best action threat scenes I've seen. Yeah. And then I enjoyed the dinner quite a bit because that definitely was heat. <laughs> like that it's, was really great. There's great acting between oh, yeah. the t- between the two of them. They know how to bounce off of each other and play the cat and mouse game really well. And I like the pairing when you take that first scene where they meet and then that second scene. It's really cool to watch the juxtaposition and. How the dynamics have flipped around. I yeah, it's really cool. What happened to Haley Bailey? Or what was that girl's name? She was in. Um, she died. A, no, what? She was also in, in that. Uh, oh, you mean the actress? The like actress. the actual actress? I thought you meant. Uh, no, in the like she had a whole death. She had all, it was very important <laughs> and very brutal. Yeah, no, that was one of my favorite shot scenes because they kept like cutting outside the room to make you like ah. And to uh, let you know that's like right in the neighborhood too. Yeah, and like, just it. feel it in the room. No, yeah, she was in that Fuqua cowboy was movie. Like, it could happen in, in your neighborhood. <laughs> if you go to South, you might get strangled. <laughs> it could happen anywhere, man. <laughs> but no, you, she uh, she was in that Chris Pratt cowboy movie. Uh, Magnificent Seven. Yeah. And then I haven't seen her in anything since. Don't remember her or not. Or and she was Denzel. the female lead. Oh, I wonder if they're friends. <laughs> was that Anton Fuqua, too? I think it was. <laughs> yeah, was that an Anton oh, Fuqua? Oh, man, he's great. Make more movies, Anton Fuqua. Yeah, uh, don't I call liked, that movie at all. I like Southpaw quite a bit, but I haven't seen. I guess I haven't seen some of his other work, because Southpaw is, I think, really slept on. I haven't seen Southpaw. It's crazy to see the trajectory of when you go to Training Day, which was a David Ayer script and an Anton Fuqua movie, and then the directions they've taken. It's like yeah. David Ayer has tried recapturing the magic of Training Day. Yeah. And Anton Fuqua was like, I'll make anything. I'm an action director. <laughs> I'm going to make everything I'm over doing, there. Which, which is not Training Day. No. <laughs> he's just like, I'm an action director. Here on out. I'll make an action movie. That's a really Doesn't good matter. point. And like Anton Fuqua, except for like Southpaw, I guess. But there's like an a- element. Oh, there's action a, yeah, there's an element. action element. But like yeah. you're right, they definitely went other ways. And David Ayer's like end of watch, yeah. and I'm gonna try to make training day as much as possible. In different environments, but I can't. It seemed to accomplish. Shia LaBeouf's day. gonna get a full stomach tattoo for me. Why we don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. And no one saw the movie, but he got a tattoo for that's a real. Right, I remember that. That's right. Yeah. Oh my God. Those He's David had a Ayer career, films. man. I'm um, Fury's incredible, but that's also him not trying to make a David Ayer movie. Mm-hmm. David Ayer, like that action. They both need to do good action movies. It would be cool to see them reteam again. Yeah, uh, because I love that. But I, I did. Lo- well, the first movie I ever saw of Anton Fuqua was a movie called The Replacement Killers. Not the replacements. Keanu Reeves. Replacements is the football movie. Oh. The replacement killers is Chow Yun Fat. I think that was his first Never American led film. It's cool. It's a cool ass movie. Uh, him and Mira Servino and Michael Rooker. Uh, yeah, that's a. And that was the first movie I think Anton Fuqua made that was like a hit. And then he did Training Day following. Whoa. 
So yeah, sometimes you guys are like, "Have you not seen any movies, Greg? All these first time like, I've seen some all those movies. movies." Yeah, <laughs> it's so funny when people are like, "You haven't seen this?" And it's like, "Yeah, but look at the four thousand like, we've like seen. There's like millions of movies. Sorry, yeah. we missed the one you love a lot, which is why we're watching yeah. it for you. But like, there's so yeah. many movies. Um, but yeah, I thought overall that this movie was so much better than I expected it to be. I, I didn't remember being impressed by like. I don't know. I watched movies a little more lazily back in the day when Ten I would just ago. smoke and watch it, right? So watching it now, I, I appreciated so much more about it that the 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 um, the actual effort they made with unveiling and getting to know who this character is, whose name is Robert, oh, who getting to know who Robert is throughout the course of this film, and under and and they actually lean into the fact that you know there's a part of him that wants. To, to kill he's a killer and yeah they want to do it they don't need some spiel of like i know who you really are robert you're a killer like you don't need to say that it was kind of neat to kind of get that conversation from through the, action from through action and from the government person who's like a he friend permission he's like you you this is what you do <laughs> like yeah go be him go be that person you were born to be you're a killer. <laughs> like she doesn't say it, but that's essentially the that dialogue that you get in every action movie of this guy is you're a killer. Just admit it, you know. And but they play into it with the action when he watches them. Like he likes to watch them die. Uh, there's there is a violence that he is drawn to, and I think Chloe Grace Moretz is actually I I, I didn't I, I didn't remember till like moments before. Like, oh yeah, she's in this movie. Uh, I, I think Chloe Grace Moretz is really good in this film. It's kind of cool how she can go from being like hit girl to this person. Yeah, the innocence played as well as her like insane violence plays. Like yeah. some people can't do the foul mouthed, you know, blah blah blah, and then also seem innocent, and she nails that. And that's not an easy role to go from like you have to be so sympathetic for her that you're like, yeah, he should kill all those people. Yeah. Like he should put himself in harm's way for this girl he knows from a diner. Yeah. And I also really like that everything he did was so detail oriented, like the the details he gives to help people, the details about the guy's hands, the the details of looking for weakness, like his ability to curate a room felt very plausible. Like they gave you rules in this movie that I'm really excited for it to be a series because I'm excited to see him like use things. It was like, it was like a Sherlock meets like Jackie Chan. Like yeah, how will I use this weapon in this space? But he also uses it for like logic, like the hands thing. That yeah. wasn't weaponized, but it was showing you how much he notices. I love that. Yeah. And then the eyes. You took my point. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was thinking in my head like when he's done talking, I'm gonna say Sherlock Holmes meets Jackie Chan. That's exactly like, what I was like. He said exactly. What I was thinking. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then there was a warehouse scene. I've always wanted to see Jackie Chan fight in a warehouse. I'm uh, pretty sure he's done that. Um, Has he? Yeah, I'm sure he's. I'm sure we should watch a Jackie Chan movie. I feel like they should probably shoot a lot of those actions scenes he's done in a warehouse in order like to that. accomplish that. I always think about Jackie Chan when I'm in warehouses. Maybe I've had a subconscious memory. Yeah, I'm pretty that sure. That was dope. I'm pretty sure he's done that. Yeah, the 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 action itself was really well done. And I I do I feel, I'm trying to think of a point that we didn't say during the reaction. And yeah, we talked sure a lot. Paid. Hopefully the people are okay with that. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's some like points to that had to be made. Um okay, so we covered the action, obviously. Action, drama, <laughs> casting. The, oh, the supporting cast was really good, too. A lot of the time, a movie like this, you'll go, I'm kind of bored when it's not Denzel. Did but, not have that. But I actually was really endeared to the rest of the cast as well. I thought the villain was really great. A lot of times, they botched the villain. David Harbour crushed as a supporting asshole. David Harbour. At times, it seemed a little bit like a, a little melodramatic preachy when he was saying some stuff about being a cop. Well, oh, I know what, what it was that I wanted to say. It was what, to your point about watching how he likes to sort of mentor and instill good values oh, yeah. and stuff that makes it believable when he is doing the vigilante stuff because it's not just self-serving and him wanting to be you know like, like it, you buy into it that he's really doing this out of a place of good yeah because you see that he likes to still help people out mentally first and emotionally and he always before. gives him a chance to be better yeah exactly uh so i think that's really that that was a part that I thought really aided the film and brought a little bit more to because there's with what this movie really is is a lot of other action movies we've seen just a little more just more fleshed out and thought up yeah. than your typical action movie like it has it's kind of like how I like in the, my experience of of the have you seen the movie Nobody Ooh, yeah the the Bob Odenkirk yeah yes I was like okay yeah there's a it, this is a genre in and of itself there's a lot of tropes but it's more fleshed out and that's what I would say here is it is a lot of the genre tropes that we've seen, especially and and like structurally, but they mess with the structure a little bit on mm -hmm. where to focus, and they they actually develop the character of of Robert more than you would normally get. They kind of do that all around, 
Yeah, like even everyone gets a little bit more time, and every every scene gets a little bit more patience. Yeah, even the trope like abuse girl that he's gonna go, you know, get justice for. That's a trope in and of itself. But I actually wasn't bothered by that trope. Normally, I am a little like, and eh, this trope is a little annoying and repetitive. But this time around, it actually didn't bother me. Because also, they, they did more get, to disgust you. Like there were moments I was like repulsed. Like some of the dialogue about it, like they didn't lean. They didn't lean into showing like actual. Assault scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they let it be like really uncomfortable. Like just showing the guy in the limo was enough for me. I was like, oh god, yeah. that guy. like they did a good job making you repulsed without making it gratuitous about that subplot because I usually can't watch that stuff. Yeah, exactly. That that kind of stuff does bother me because it does become like a, a trope that I I'm sick of seeing in movies and it's it's just like they lean too much on it. But they actually really did a good job on painting the relationship with Chloe Grace Moretz and Denzel Washington. Uh, in the early parts, like when they're walking on the bridge and stuff yeah. like that, like those scenes, I thought were really well done. They did such a great job before their first action scene. Uh, yeah, we, <laughs> you mentioned it was like twenty minutes in, and like I also love that he had a protocol, like how they even a line of dialogue establishes their relationship and her breaking it and that escalating yeah. and all those things. And then yeah, it's like twenty minutes in until there's even action, but there's been so much like verbal action. There's been so much like tension <laughs> yeah, building. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good choice of music all around. Yep. Um, I can't wait to watch the second so, one. So, so excited. I I can't wait. I don't don't look up the Ron. I didn't know one. David Harbour was in this one. I'm excited to see who's in the next one. I didn't know Bill Pullman, Melissa Leo. Like, this cast was stacked. I'm excited to be like, was who's it, 2018 equalized? It was a surprisingly big cast, Corey. Considering I researched David Harbour for interviews, I did not remember Equalizer, and I'm so excited to see what, like, pops up for the next one. And it must have done well, because the third one's this year. Uh, Yeah, they're mm-hmm. really spread apart. The second one, second one, he has hair. Look at the poster. What? Oh, now it's getting real. That's not my equalizer. No, look at that man's hat. I don't trust it. Oh, looks like he goes somewhere. Oh, uh, well, don't read it. Oh, no, okay. man, I well, just saw Equalizer it. one is five stars uh, um, out of 57,000 reviews. Holy crap. Out of 57,000 reviews, it's only four and a half. <laughs> So clearly, clearly a dip in quality. Clearly, sequel is a letdown. <laughs> As we learned with Kung Fu Panda Two, which had a lesser rating, it's clearly a lesser film. Yeah, watch us walk out, people. This is so much This better. is the one. It's so this dark and nuanced. One. Yeah. <laughs> it's about family. Uh, oh, it's and Fuqua's back. That's exciting. I was always afraid the director. I'm pretty changed. sure he's done all. I'm pretty sure he did Equalizer Three as well. Right? I just get worried because when directors change, it, it you know it's sometimes. Oh, the he heart. is back for that. Is he back for Equalizer Three? Let's find out. What's he been doing? Oh, it's an intense Denzel. And he's yeah. bald again. He's bald. He's back to being bald. Back to the crit. Back to the baldness. All righty, guys. Though. That's exciting for all three. That's what I want to hear. Well, guys, what did you think about the Equalizer? I can't wait to watch the second one. And to do that, we need you to like, subscribe, comment. Let us know which is your favorite of the Equalizers. And if you're Denzel, let us know if the third one's any good. Yeah. And if you're Denzel, please, I would not like to run into you at Home Depot, but you seem like a nice guy. Guys. Paul Coy, and um, hey, let's do a patron of the day shout out. Let's. I know Adelia. She's a sweetie. Everyone knows Adelia. So <laughs> shout out Adelia. She is like the equalizer of our YouTube community. She's just everywhere. She really is. <laughs> Actually, she's the perfect person to shout out for this. Adelia Chamberlain. In case you didn't hear that, depending on the edit, you are the equalizer of the YouTube community. You're everywhere. You're a force of good. You're a force of being equal. And you're a force of being <laughs> everywhere on these internet streets, making sure they're clean and safe. Also, for helping me figure out how to run a Discord, which is like equalizing these streets. Can you tell us why he's named Equalizer? Let us know your subtext. Uh, also, thank you for being a patron. Uh, you're an absolute delight. Every interaction we've had in you, internet yeah. has been wonderful and the opposite of the violence that we just witnessed. Met her in person once. She was a total dear. That's a, she really is everywhere. Like yeah. I just did an interview for a podcast for this uh, other thing, and then I was talking with one of the people who helped run it, and they were like, oh, do you know Delia Chamberlain? She just started working with us. <laughs> like, of course. Of course she did. She's just everywhere. She's got those Dwayne Johnson <laughs> hours where she's just always uh, yeah, She's always around and always helping. And a lot of times she used to do a lot of stuff for just out of the kindness of her heart. Incredible. Glad to see that you finally got a job doing it. Delia, love you so much. And uh, you've been part of our Patreon pretty much since the beginnings. And you've been in for years now. So thank you so much for being here. Talk to you all soon. Mm-hmm.